penetration, but uh, they couldn't get Hart Hartman. He gets the corner. He's out to the 40. Good straight drop. It rushed heavily and hit as he throws. Herman back makes the catch. Leans it. Touchdown. Vinsler drops back and lofts a pass over the center. Caught for a touchdown. Throws, but he's got Open. Gatlin. Open. He nice makes catch. a great leaping grab. We're at South High School where tonight, for the 69th time in the history of these two fine institutions, we're going to see the North-South football game. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, uh, a lot has been said over the week about South's defense and how well they played against Slinger, but I think really the key to the game is how well North's defense does. Yeah, last week South came out and just allowed three first downs to uh, Slinger. Outstanding job by Chris Hine and his defense really shut down the Owls. Uh, but you're right, Marty. I think that a lot has to go on uh, Sheboygan North defense. Last week they gave up over 150 yards through the air. That's the first time they've they've done that in like four years. Uh, two weeks ago we saw them struggle a little bit. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on the defense for North stopping South. Now South as a little segue to that. South brings to the table a couple of fine players. Now in the paper they had uh, Taylor Schwartz as a starter. We found out tonight just before the game that uh, Tony Gallhart will be the starter, but uh, that Ray Smith was quite a load last week. Yeah, he, he did, and we kind of said he's just a sophomore, and it seems like every time he carries the ball, and uh, we talked to the offensive line last week, every time they had a series, they got better and better, and he did too. As, as it progressed, he got a little bit better. One problem that South had a little bit last week with Ray Smith as well is they put the ball on the carpet a little bit, and if turnovers you know, might be a difference tonight. Whoever has the most turnovers might just lose the ball game. Uh, North has some good offensive players too. Let's talk about them a little bit. Dave Moss is a converted running back playing quarterback, but he's not bad. No, he's not. And two weeks ago, he didn't run very much, but, but last week he got to, to go out and run a little bit and throw. I know Ben Trilling had a real nice ball game last week. And uh, Ian Andrews is their running back. First year uh, football player, I believe. And he's really come along each week. And uh, we'll see how that team does against the great Chris Hine defense. Now, when we talked to Coach Brixen in our pregame show, he mentioned about not wanting to throw the ball very much, but they threw the ball 20 times, well, I think over 20 times down at Port last week. Well, one thing South's on defense over the last few years, they've been susceptible to the pass. The opening game against Hartford, they gave up a big, big day there. They gave up five touchdown passes. And even last year and the year before, when those defenses were so strong, they were they gave up the pass every once in a while you kind of wonder what was going on so if North's going to be successful they're going to have to I think mix it up just a little bit because that swarming red D like we saw last week is just going to shut down that run if you don't open it up if you pass the ball then maybe the running game will start to go for uh, North. Now we were talking about the the series the history of the series little incentive for South to win tonight. Yeah the series is believe it or not 33 32 and 3 in favor of North so if South wins today, after all these matches, all these years, all these people have talked about football, it'll be all tied up. You know, who's the better football team? Nobody. It'll be 33, 33, and 3. So we'll have to find out. Talking with Andy McKillop, the historian for uh, Sheboygan football, and he, he looked at some trends, and he said tonight's game, if trends follow, should be a blowout for Sheboygan South. Yeah, there was one trend in there that was right. If any game was under, I believe it was like within a touchdown the following year, it was more than a touchdown. So it sounds to me like it's going to be at least over a touchdown score. So it will be a blowout. So we'll have to just find out if the trends or statistics hold true. With that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's ball game. Computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a time out for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later, dial sensibly, and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. It starts in your own neighborhood. 
when you care enough to give your time to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. Back at South High School, there you see the stands and the press box. Let's go through the starting offense for uh, Sheboygan North, the visiting team tonight. Starting at quarterback will be number seven, Dave Moss. He's a 5'10 senior. At a running back is Ian Andrews. He's their feature back. He's a 5'10 junior, goes at 153. At a wing back is Nate Kautzer, number 32. Kautzer's a senior, goes 6'2", 170. At fullback is number 40, Peter Ross. Ross is a senior. He goes 5'11", 172. In the line, starting at guard is number 68, Ryan Hamilton. Hamilton is a junior, 5'9", 175. At center, Alex Hinsey, number 52. He's a senior, 5'11", 176. At a tackle is Peter Reschke, fine baseball player for you, Chris. He's a senior, goes 6'1", 227. At another guard is T.J. Engels. Engels is a six-foot senior, goes 213. And at a tackle, number 77, Sean McGee. He's a 6'2 senior. He's a big guy, goes 252. At the end position, end, tight end position, is number 85, Brad Schmitz. He's a senior, six feet, 150. And number 88, Ben Trilling, is a senior. He goes 6'2", 198, and uh, they play uh, tight end. Let's go through the defense for South, and uh, you can see out there they're trying to muscle each other out already for uh, a spot on the field. Jamal Johnson, number one, will start at a defensive back. He's a senior, 5'11", 150. Adam Math, number five, also a senior. He's 5'7", 150. Adam, a good baseball player. They're defensive backs. In the defensive line, big number 22, John Valdez. He was all-conference last year. He's a senior, goes 6'3", 210. At a defensive back is number 25, Mike Weber. Weber's a 6'1 senior, he goes 170. Anthony Hoytink, number 28, is a junior, 5'11, 200 pounds. Ben Hendricks, a senior, 6 feet, 190. He'll be at a linebacker, both those boys. In the defensive line, Mike Brookins, number 51. He's a senior, 6'2, 200 pounds. Lucas Bannock, number 52, is a junior, goes 5'10, 185. And Steve Bakhti, is number 53. He's a sophomore, goes 6'3", 195. There you see head coach Dave Pfeiffer, or co-head coach, and behind him is uh, Chris Hine. There you see him coming right at the camera. Rounding out the uh, defense, the 11th starter, it's a little bit of a toss-up, Chris. They wanted to give Andy Lancer a little less time on the defensive end, feature him a little bit more on the offensive end. Offensive side, I should say. So starting in his spot tonight on defense will be John Bruder, number 97. He's a six-foot junior, goes 215. South comes into this game with a 10-game winning streak in the Fox River Valley. And uh, I think if we go down a little further on this list, Manitowoc and Green Bay East have had uh, winning streaks of uh, 30 games or more. From 1961 to 62, South had a winning had won a win, had a winning streak of 12 in the Fox River Valley. So uh, that's the longest of any city team. Yeah, Salt ever. is going to go for that. Yep. Try to tack on to that tonight. Right. Yeah, they're trying to get number 11. Try to tie that record. Looks like North's going to get the ball first. First chance for us to see, for you people, the viewers, to see the North Wing tee. We saw him a couple weeks ago. Andrews and uh, 28 is back along with uh, Eric Seafelt, number 22. Kick is taken. 
by number 80, and it's a fumble. Who's got it? Putting it on the carpet was Nick Jones, number 80, and South gets it back. Well, I'll tell you, Marty, there's a lot of electricity in this uh, stadium, and it's not just because there's lights on up here and out on the field, but uh, you can just feel the electricity of this north-south situation again here, and a golden opportunity for the Red Wings on a turnover number one. Here you're gonna see it. Jones had a little trouble. Right there he had it stripped away. He couldn't quite catch who uh, recovered it. Tony Gallhart at quarterback, gives it off to uh, Billman right up the middle. And he gets it down inside the 15, close to the 10 yard line, it'll be a first down. Well, we talked about it, Jake Billman's kind of the glue, he's the senior. Him and Lindsey been through a lot of battles together. We'll Ain't call it the 11 yard line, that was an 11 yard pickup, Chris, on first down. Ray Smith, we got trips out to the right. Smith is the lone setback. And a fake handoff, he's leading Gallhart around the end, Gallhart down near the five yard line. That was just student body right, Chris. Yep. Well, they had trips your right on the right and they had, I believe they had number 82 Duquette on the left, just a single back and Gullhart has got pretty good speed, just took that one to the corner. Here's a nice replay. He Great. runs around that one defender and uh, Smith didn't throw much of a block, but he was out there. <laughs> Gain of four. Second and six. Fake to uh, Billman, pitch out to Smith. He's got the corner and the end zone. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. Well, three weeks in a row, Sheboygan North gives up an e e early, early score. And to this week is no different. Just a minute 17 in, they find themselves on the losing end, or excuse me, trailing end, six to nothing. You're gonna see it. Once Smith gets uh, to the outside, nobody's gonna catch him. Narrow's a good block on the corner. Not, and Seafeld not able to fill. No, no uh, defense for an option there whatsoever. Blown assignment there, and you're right, with Smith, Smith getting to that corner there, he's go gonna go. Last week off the tackles, he was outstanding. And uh, there was a fine example of what he can do. Alexandra Eisner boots that kick up and no good. I think that one got tipped on the way to the uprights, Chris, it was blocked. With uh, 10.43 remaining in the first quarter, South strikes first, six to nothing. The time is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. And will you be ready financially? Are you ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. Back at South High, I need to go over the stats a little bit on that first carry by uh, Tony Gallhart. He actually gained six yards on that carry, not four. Ball gets by, and it's down, picked up at about the one yard line. Seafeld, ooh, ran into his own man and was knocked down. It looked like he might have gone for good yardage, but uh, got hit by his own man at the 10 yard line. Well, Sh Sheboygan North is being introduced to the defending FRVC champion Sheboygan South team and uh, they're getting uh, all the all the mistakes that a team that has struggled over the years is doing with a two misplayed there kickoffs you're right he you ran into uh, Justin we excuse me, yeah Justin Weberdink there Andrews in motion fake handoff Moss flips it out to Andrews he makes a catch he breaks loose of a tackler. Johnson comes over and makes a tackle outside the 30 yard line. Good little pitch and catch. What a way to get yourself out of trouble there. South had North pinned inside the 10. Nice play fake and dump off, safe pass. Again, nice replay here by Kerry Kautzer. Get to see this right away and 
Missed tackle by South, something we don't see very often. Both teams probably a little nervous, Marty. Yep, pick up a 21 yards, ball spotted on the 31. Bump on the handoff, battling through as a north ball carrier. That was Nick uh, Jones. Jones returned that first kickoff, Chris. Number 80 on the carry. It's gonna be second down and eight. Officials time out. Dave Moss, ducks under center. Tight line for North, no wide receivers. Moss on the inside handoff. Making the carry was number 32, Nate Kautzer, the wingback. South there basically had almost nine guys up on that line. One person back. You know, just forced North to throw the football. Here they come in more of a standard situation. Two safeties back this time. Third down and four. Saul's defensive line adjusts over North. Fake by Moss, he tries to look for a bop, but uh, good coverage there by South. Good fill, number 52 coming over and making a fine tackle for the Red Wings. That was uh, Lucas Bannock. And Moss hit for a loss. Good, uh, good defensive uh, assignment there by the uh, right side there of Sheboygan South. No place for Moss to go. Kick is away and it bounces, uh, takes a nice bounce for North. It's gonna go out of bounds near the 25 yard line. I didn't catch who their punter was, Chris. Josh Gilson. Gilson, Gilly, I remember Gilly from over at Lincoln Erdman. The guy's a good hockey player too. You're gonna spot it just outside the 25. We'll call it the 25. First and 10 south, thank you very much, Chris. <laughs> to get that red pin out. <laughs> By the way, Chris, I think we succeeded in one thing, dressing in neutral colors. <laughs> you got green and I had orange. <laughs> Fake handoff, rolling out is Galhart. Pitch and catch is made by Billman, he fumbles the ball. He gets it back. He's gonna be down at about the 33 yard line. Something you don't see him do very often, but uh, nice safe pass again for South. There's Coach Hine working with the troops. But again, uh, nice safe pass there to Billman. Don't see him from the ball very often. Pickup of eight. Second and about two, a long two. Trips to the left this time. And it's student body left. John uh, Smith on the carry, uh, but we have a flag down. It's going to be on South, a blocking penalty. Well, another problem South had last week was holding and illegal use of the hands. And right away, we get one in the first couple minutes of their uh, drive as well. I know they had in the paper eight penalties, but I got to tell you, I think it was more like 11. They had six or seven in the first half and they had a bunch in the second half. Another thing that South has got to clean up with this young line. About the only thing that stopped the uh, offense last week for South was their penalties. Well, we have uh, second down and long. It's about uh, 15 yards. Three wide receivers off to the right. Inside handoff to Smith. He barrels forward, but he's dropped. I think that was Billman, Marty. Okay, Billman on the gear right, it was Billman, and in on the tackle was uh, Alex Hinsey. Short gain by Billman, he picks up about three. Some of the fans here. Again, a full house, especially on the south side, north side along the wall, it's full over there too. 
just great to see all these people come out and support these kids. Inside handoff again to Billman. He gets it up to the uh, 25, and that's all. That'll be fourth down. Playing it pretty conservative on that uh, once they got the penalty, Chris. That'll make it fourth down and 10. Hoytink's kick is away. Seafelt raising, waving everybody away. It was a short punt, and it's going to be down in South Territory at about the 49. Not a good effort there by uh, Anthony. Well, the flags aren't moving, so we can't blame blame that. That you're right. It's just not a very good punt. And uh, North is going to be inside of South Territory for the first time tonight. We're going to call it the 50. Not that it matters a great deal. 49 and 7 eighths. <laughs> yeah, really. Moss steps back. It looks like he called an audible, coach. South jumps offside. And uh, Moss uh, giving a funny cadence here, Chris. South is going to be offside. That'll be a five yarder. That'll make it first and five ball on the 45. Full house backfield for North. Andrews steps up. Movement on the, uh, I think 88 there they got. Ben Trilling was moving a little bit. So he'll give the five yards right back. Oh Not boy. by much, but he kind of, you know, yeah. moved that shoulder pad a little bit. That's all it takes. In the past 10 years, the team with the most penalties has been five and five in the Valley. So penalties are not a good thing. Of course, we knew that. Because we're pretty smart guys up here. At least one of the two. <laughs> right back where we started from. Quick pitch. Out to the running back, uh, Regoza. Cesar Regoza, not much there. South pretty stout on the defense. Getting up from the bottom of the pile for the Red Wings was Mike Brookins. Give Regoza a yard. Second down and nine. Again, there you see it tight on the line. Two tight ends now going in motion at a split end spot is Schmitz. Andrews in motion. Inside handoff. Slipping through is number 32, Nate Kautzer. And he gets up close to the first down. Gets it down to about the 41. Pick up an eight. Well designed play there. You can run option out of that. You can run that delay draw there. One of the uh, difficult things about stopping the wing T is all the confusion and who's going to get the ball there. And well, they gave it a pass look, and then they send the guy in motion the other direction, and all of a sudden up the middle they go. And Moss, former running back, I think he had over 100 yards in a game we covered last year, so he knows what he's doing. Against South. Against South, he played uh, tailback a little bit. I believe, uh, who was the tailback? Uh, he got cramps or something, so then Moss came in and just moved right up and down the field. Wasn't it the uh, third baseman for your team a couple years ago? Uh, who was Medina. It? Yeah, Santos Medina last year. Yep, he got cramps, and Dave came in and just, I remember one series, he carried like five, six guys across the field. <laughs> he was running like a man possessed that night for yeah. sure. First and 10 ball on the 38. Hand off to Coulter and ripping him down from behind was number 34 for South, Ben Hendricks. Are you going to get a hold this time on Ian Andrews? Well, they might want to decline that penalty. Mm. Eh, maybe not, because they're pretty deep. Yeah. Last year, 20 to 14 overtime. Toughest game 
South basically had all season until the uh, Nina game where they fortunately just fell a little bit short. Okay, and they do take the penalty. It's moved back to the 49-yard uh, line. First down and 22, 23 they got on the board, so we'll call it that. Moss fix. Leaping try for the catch was Ben Trilling, but he was hit and not able to bring it down. Well, that was a floater out there, and those are the ones you We didn't get catch a number of that guy that put pressure. Good, get good. the number of that guy in the replay either, but uh, he caused a little pressure. It was a, was a two, might have been 52. And a big hit by Mike Weber. Pass incomplete, makes it second down and 23. Trilling and Schmidt split out left and right. We have two slot backs, a lone setback is uh, Jones. Pass right up the middle is complete to Kautzer and he's dropped at the 35 yard line. Nice pass by Dave Moss. Good step up there, good line protection and drilled it right over the middle. Pick up a 14 yards. Here you'll see the replay, nice. Five, six yard drop and boom, right across the middle. Actually we're gonna call it the, yeah, make it the 35. About eight yards for a first down. Oh, looked like there was movement on the line, no penalty. As a screen pass was thrown backwards and they're gonna call it an incomplete pass. That's gonna be a bit of a break for North, Chris. You know what I think happened there, Marty? The center snapped it early. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably what did happen. Because all the red shirts came and the white guys' were jerseys were still standing there. And I think that was just a misplay by the uh, center there. Let's see what they're gonna do here. It's a same situation here. You're yeah, in a funny position on the field where a punt doesn't help you much. I don't know. I like pinning them. North is going for it. They have uh, full house backfield right now unless they uh, shift into position, and they do. Schmitz is wide to the left. Rigoza in motion. Moss a couple of fakes. Pitches it out. It's almost picked off. Making the diving attempt but missing it was Mike Weber. Weber almost missed it there, and Trilling almost got it in his hands. Weber was there, but almost over, <laughs> over flew it. <laughs> flew right by it, and next thing you know, Trilling could have had it and went into the end zone there, but uh, as is. Yeah, that would have been something. Good field position, I think, for South here. There's 2.35 remaining in the first quarter. It's six to nothing South. Billman the up back, Smith the deep back. Wilson in motion. Inside handoff to Billman. He chugs for short yardage. Last week, uh, Billman only carried the ball two times. Chris, he already has uh, four carries tonight. Actually picked up a little more yardage. Picked up four here in the on that first carry, make it second down and six. Good shot of Jake there. Filming in motion. Get a double team block on the defensive end for North, but, to, but North fills very good. Coming over to make the stop was Andrew Priggy. Smith on the carry. It's kind of a stretch play there, and it kind of took a little bit longer probably to, to develop there. And by the time Smith got the handoff, the white jerseys of the Raiders were over here and not a lot of room for Smith to go there. It's gonna set up third and about five. Yep, so we got. All spotted and about the 40 yard line. It's a long five. Duquette and Wilson off to the left. Uh, pardon me, off to the right and then Wilson calls a timeout with 158 remaining. 
with the score six to nothing south Take a short break, Kerry, and we'll be right back. Better make it a 30. Insight into the bones, as another did for the heart, and another for the brain. Now doctors are using a new machine to practice medicine and save lives. The difference is, it's one you can use too. When you log on to MedlinePlus.gov from the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health, you're tapping into the largest, most comprehensive medical website in the world. MedlinePlus.gov, the website doctors prescribe. I think that's John Valdez. Nope. Oh. Number 25, Mike Weber. Weber almost uh, making that interception. How many yards have been gained in the series since 1950? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got third down and five for South. Two wide receivers off to the left. Lancer time. Well, Galhart running for his life. Catch is made, I believe, unless they call him out of bounds, but it's going to be short of the first down. I think to try to get Duquette there, right? Yeah, that's who it was. Zach Duquette. I thought they'd do the uh, old Lancer thing there. Well, pass is incomplete. 26,048. Sounds like attendance, not yards gained. Really? All righty, back deep is Anthony Hoytink. Anthony gonna try and get a little better effort this time. Yeah, it's much better driving Seafelt back. He makes the catch at the 18 yard line. And he gets drilled down by number 22, John Valdez. Oh, you don't want to have him hit you. 22 on 22. Something to be a punt returner. All yeah. of a sudden you catch the ball and there's four jerseys. None of them are your color. Well, he got a hold of his leg and then you're just a sitting target. First down and 10. Ball spotted, we'll call it the 24 yard line. North trailing, south on top, six to nothing. They scored uh, on their first possession after a turnover at the 22 yard line by North. Andrews, he gets drilled down. Whoa, what a tackle that time. Valdez. And Lancer right there, the two of them. Valdez, two good hits in a row. Ian Andrews on the carry, he loses two yards. They get second down and 12. Clock rolling down under a minute left in the first quarter. Hendricks looking to blitz, there he comes, but he's picked up nicely. Right up the middle is Nick Jones. Jones with a nice carry. Ball is spotted right at the 30 yard line, Chris. That's a pickup of eight. Nice hole right up the middle. Jones has two carries for 10 yards. Coulter has two carries for 12 yards. Nobody else has carried the ball more than twice. More than two times. Inside handoff. And uh, Pepper down is number 40, Peter Ross. Clock is gonna run down to end the quarter. Ross picks up maybe a yard. And that's gonna be the end of the quarter. At the end of one, south on top. Six to nothing. Life's so good. 
Call 1-800-432-TRIP or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Foundation. We're back at South High School and getting ready to uh, take the punt from North. Is uh, Weber. Weber's got it on the 35 up to the 40, 45. And he struggles forward close to the 50 yard line. Good return. Mike Weber. First down south. They now, whoops, it's gonna say they're gonna start in North Territory, but they're just on the other side here. Okay, we'll call it the 50 though, just to make it easier for me. Here you get a good shot of Tony Gallhart, the quarterback for Sheboygan South. That shot being provided, or that first shot was Brian Andrews. Right up the middle is Billman. Billman had three carries for 20 yards in the first quarter. And we had mentioned earlier that uh, he only had two carries all of the, all game last week. Well, we we kind of talked that uh, he was kind of the unknown factor and got to we'll kind of watch out for him. And he's very effective on his yards per carry. Smith, the deep back, number 38. Wilson in motion. Right up the middle, Billman with a big hole. South's offensive line really blowing a hole open there. When it works, why change it? Why fix it? See if they just go right to work. Running the football here, Marty. They're right up on the line again. Ball spotted on the 35 yard line, a pickup of 10 for Billman. He's got 15 yards and two carries. Wilson in motion again. Fake inside, pitch out to Smith. He's got the corner hanging on for dear life and making the tackle was Nate Hummage. Well, he pounded up the middle, set up that outside pitch. Got that, righty. That's exactly what I was thinking, Marty. Sold that well. Pick up a five. Nice pitch by Gallhart. Ball spotted on the 30 yard line. Second and five. There you see number 62 over the ball, David Valdez. Inside wow. handoff, Smith bounding through. And he's hit down inside the 20 yard line. What a burst. Call it the 19. What a burst he had through there, Marty. He is very quick. Pick up of 11 yards. Oh, South just pounding the ball now, Chris. That seemed like the quickest I've seen him in the last two weeks. He just got through there. Woo! Get that opening and taking out uh, yardage quite quickly there. Wilson wide left, Duquette wide right. Billman the up back, Smith the deep back, Gallhart at quarterback. Fake handoff, pass up the middle to Wilson through his hands incomplete. Well, it looked like it was a pretty good pass right to Wilson. Chris, you don't like that call. No, when was the last time they stopped him on the run? Five, 10, five, 11. <laughs> Yeah, they've gotten a bunch, that's for sure. Yep. You read that. <laughs> I'm trying to get my stats up to date. Second down and 10. Wilson in motion. Fake handoff. Quarterback keeper by Gallhart. He spins off a one tackler and leans forward near a first down at the 10 yard line. That was pretty slick. Yeah, it was. He pushed the triangle on that PlayStation thing again, Marty. <laughs> <The> spin. <laughs> <laughs> I know that because my son does that to me all the time. 
Same number too, he uses Michael Vick. Number seven and here you go, watch. Right there. Oh. Yep, just hit the uh, button on your PlayStation. Uh, the triangle or whatever it is. I don't know which one it is. Nice spin move. Third and one. Did Billman right through the middle. He's up there for a touchdown. Big hole. He got through awfully quick. You know, you talk about a burst by Smith. Billman had the same kind of burst. Yep. 10 yard gain, touchdown. And we got a penalty flag for something. Uh oh. Somebody said something or did something. Well, it appeared to be after the play. We'll have to see if the play does stand. Unsportsmanlike conduct on North. We'll probably assess that on the kickoff, I would think. Yep. But then again, there you see right up the middle, nobody was home and he ran right through that last tackler. Yep. A little too late by then anyway. Grady, a nice, nice situation there. Well, let's see what South does with the extra point if they're going to go for two. Or uh, it looks like they are bringing out the offensive team. Wide receivers left and right. Call hard, handoff. Nope, fumble. And not good again. Well, with 8.58 remaining until halftime, South comfortably ahead, 12 to nothing. That first extra point uh, made them have to do something a little different. North still in the ball game, but they're gonna have to generate a little bit of offense. For me, it's giving the best of myself. For me, it's the professional team environment and the mutual respect that I share with my colleagues. For me, it's providing my patients with the best and safest care possible. For me, it's having the latest in healthcare technologies and the privilege of providing the best healthcare to America's veterans. We are the nurses of VA. VACareers.com, a career in caring. Seven play, 50 yard drive, Chris, all on the ground. Just three minutes, too. Just yeah. The uh, who gained the most yards rushing in one single game, North South game? You know, I think it's Chris Klein. I think it's Chris Klein too. I know Nate Bergerman was like second. I was at that game. Man, like you talk about big holes. Jeez. All right, Andy. Who was it? Come on, come on, come on! Hurry up before the kickoff. Oh. Eric Donovan. Ooh. My bad. <laughs> Line drive kick. Taken by Andrews, I believe that is. He slips through a hole. He's going to have a good return. Out over the 35-yard line. Ian Andrews. That was the uh, big 57-6 victory by South. Here you're going to see he's going to take it. At about the 15-yard uh, line, that's going to be a nice return by Andrews. Call it the 35. 20-yard return. South on top, 12 to nothing. We have uh, 8.53 remaining until halftime. Ends tight. Kautzer is a full is a tailback now, and he gets the handoff, off tackle. Spinning and making a tackle was Anthony Hoytink from his linebacker spot. Yep. Came up and made the stop. Arm tackle there. See pick Nate up, Kautzer. Pickup of one. Ball spotted on the 36. Andrews up in the slot position. Fake handoff, Moss looking over the middle. He's got his receiver, Schmitz, and he's hit and dropped immediately. Stop made by Mike Weber. Well, the play fake didn't uh, fool anybody there for South because I believe uh, that was Mike Brookins. That was, or excuse me, Mike Brookins was bearing right down on Dave Moss. Dave turned around, <laughs> he was right there, threw it, and 
You know, that's exactly how you attack that blitz, though. You got to throw those short passes like that. Third down and four. Andrews, Moss steps back, calls an audible. Long count, and we got a penalty. Too much time by North. That'll be a five yarder. Well, that really hurts, Coach. Yeah, well, you put yourself in a, sh you know, somewhat medium situation into a long situation here, and you know, with this South defense, they might just send the house here. <laughs> they might. You know, they don't blitz often, but they, when they do. They pick their spots and they really pick them well. Yes, they do. <laughs> Full house backfield for North, tight formation. Coutzer steps up in that slot position, or the wing back position, really. Moss drops back, firing deep. He's got a receiver out there, but not able to make the catch. Was big number 88, Ben Trilling. Closest man to the ball was uh, Jamal Johnson, number one for South. So far in the ball game for uh, North, Moss has hit on three of seven passes. High snap. 40 yards. Drifting back and making the over shoulder catch was Ray Smith trying to cut it up, but uh, good coverage by North. And we got all kinds of yellow hankies flying in. Might have uh, holding here, Chris. Legal use of the hands, South. Gonna push South back. They are, they're on top, 12 to nothing. We have 7-11 remaining in the quarter. Well, they really went to work on their last drive. All on the ground. Clearing out big, big holes in that uh, Raider line. That penalty takes them back to the 21 yard line. They got 20 on the board, but that's okay. We won't criticize them because they're wrong. Wilson in motion, Galhart second back through is Smith. He squirts through the middle. He's got good yardage up over the 30 and a first down. Well, that answer line. downfield making a nice block. Well, that and that line just, they got the hole or the number they're going through. Whoever needs to create that hole is doing it, and North's not doing anything to stop it. Smith with uh, two 11-yard gains in a row. There you see it, ball spotted on the 32. First and 10. Clock running, 6.50 remaining in the quarter. Watch him get off the ball. South has been getting off the ball just great. Couple of fakes, short pass to Lancer, and he's hammered down by three North High defenders. On top the pile for North was Alex Hinzey. Mike Granke in there, Peter Priggy in there. Ah, it wasn't Peter Priggy. Andrew maybe. Andrew Priggy. Peter Priggy's gone. Andrew Priggy. Here we go. Inside handoff. Not much there for Billman. He picks up a couple. Going to make it third down. And uh, we'll call it two, I guess. Yeah. Pick up a five yards. A little more than I thought, Chris. Yep. Here we go. Straight handoff right to Smith. He's got a wide open running lane. He's through the line of scrimmage and picking up yards before he's finally dropped at the 40 yard line. Making the touchdown saving tackle was Nate Hummage. Once again, just a kick out block. Running back runs through that hole. That was a 20 yarder for uh, Smith.
47 yards in uh, four carries, Chris, for uh, Ray Smith this quarter. Billman takes the inside handoff. He's hit and dropped after maybe one yard. Getting off the bottom of the pile for uh, Sheboygan North is big number 76, Jason Diener. Diener making a nice play. Well, Coach Pfeiffer mixing it up a lot more tonight. Uh, Smith did most of the ball carrying last week and uh, Billman doing a large chunk of it tonight. Inside handoff to Smith and he's battling forward before North finally ropes him down. But uh, fighting hard. In on the tackle was Seafelt and Diener again. Done an outstanding job on this series, North has. Still sets up a third and about six. I wouldn't think that it's out of question that they might be going for it on fourth down if they come up short here, Marty. No, not the way they've been running the ball. Two wide receivers off to the right. Fake, now oh, they give it off. Billman leaps the pile and gets hammered down inside the 30 yard line. It's gonna be another first down for South. Nothing to think about there. First well, down now. <laughs> those quick hitters have uh, really befuddled North. Ball spotted on the 29 yard line. Gain up, gain a seven by uh, Jacob Billman. Using the strength right now. They're just blowing away the uh, line of scrimmage. Gallhart dropping back, flips it out to Smith, makes a nice acrobatic catch on his feet before he's hammered down inside the 25 yard line. Now they're missed tackled by North. Smith takes advantage of it. I'll tell you, when you can get, get five yards every play. Well, Smith sure had no catches last week, Chris. That's his first catch of the season, I believe. I would think that's correct. Pick up a five, makes it second down and five. Billman in motion, stretch play, hand off to Smith. He's got a little bit of a running lane, shrugs, shrugs off one tackler and then he barrels down near the 15 yard line. We'll call it the 16. Yeah. It's gonna be a first down. He went right past Andrew Priggy and another missed tackle by North. Here you'll see it. Priggy's there to make the stop, but he isn't. He and then another going. missed tackle there. Ball on the 16 yard line. Pick up of eight that time. Stretch prey to the right. Good block by Billman, but good fill that time by number 24 for North, Andrew Priggy. Good pursuit that time. Yeah, way to bounce back after the last time. I'll tell you, Billman really throws a good block on the outside. Makes a huge difference. Yeah. That was only a two yard pickup. It's amazing what you can do with a little bit of fill. Clock running at 210 left until halftime. It's second down and eight. Talk Ball about. inside the 15 yard line. Got a five minute drive going here, Marty. Plus. Billman in motion. He faked the handoff. Gallhart looking, throwing, he's got his man, and into the end zone, touchdown for Sheboygan South, Jacob Noltner. We called his name once or twice, I think they threw to him once last week, he didn't have a catch, but uh, fine play that time, they faked the stretch play off to the right, and Gallhart kept it, threw the touchdown pass. Yep, threw it back left. All the white shirts went one way. Watch this here. Whoop, they're all going that way. Nobody stays home. And uh, there's no chance. Anybody's going to stop them there. Great well, play call there by Coach Pfeiffer. South going to see if they can get. And they send uh, Eisner back out on the field. Oh, bad snap. Oop. <laughs> Get on top of that ball. <laughs> no, it doesn't, doesn't matter anyway. It's not like in college where if they pick it up, they can right. run with it and get two points. Anyway, another FUBAR on that extra point attempt, but 
with 1.52 remaining until halftime, South taking a commanding 18 to nothing lead. Do you know how many kids are risking their health by eating unhealthy foods, stuffing themselves and not getting any exercise? Oh, thank goodness, you got here just in time. Where's the problem? In there. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Here, try this, the original fast food. Doctors know that our children need a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, high fiber vegetarian foods to help them grow up healthy. Call for a free booklet or visit kidsgethealthy.org. Guys, what do you got? Got a 28 year old black male, got three gunshot wounds to the chest. One upper chest, one lower chest, one center. Bleeding a lot. There are two paths a child can take. Sir, try not to move. Kickoff, whistle stopping action. I'm going to do that again. Well, here's a little trick. I guess, you know what I think? They didn't get the signal from TV8 that they could do the kickoff. We weren't quite ready yet. That's right. Where's our, <laughs> our person down here? Yeah. Let's put another With the yellow up. sleeve on his arm or whatever yeah. they do that at those Packer games. Offside South. Uh, here's a trend that Andy McKillop came up with, uh, Marty. Since 1950, South is 13-3 and three when they've gained over 300 yards in the North-South games. 9-1 and one when they've rushed for over 250. If South rushes for under 150, they're 6-19. and 19. Whoops. They're well on their way though, Marty. Yep, uh, I was just mentioning during the break yards. that uh, Ray Smith has 60 yards this quarter on seven carries and uh, another 38 yards by uh, Jacob Billman gives them 98 and then nine more by uh, Galhart gives them over 100 just in the quarter alone. Short kick and going to a knee to pick it up was uh, Tyler Chambers. Now if he was doing that in the outfield, we'd say that's a good play. Yeah. But uh, on the football field, that puts you down. Oh, another uh, short field here for North. And, yeah, you know, I was they thinking. They need to get on the board, you know, give them something to fire them up for halftime. Well, I was thinking about South, too. I mean, they've been giving a lot of field Tyler, position to the uh, other team. and Tyler Courtright, uh, a lot yeah. of sweat on his brow. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry for breaking your Well, thoughts. I was just going to say that. It was just this kind of stuff, you know, it's going to catch up to you someday if you keep giving short fields and. Oh, right through the middle is Ross. He's battling through, and he gets down to the 40-yard line. 21-yard pickup. That's one way to start the drive. Well, North got to get on the board here. Clock will now start as soon as they put it back in play. Here's a replay, but they're going to be right up on the line here, Kerry. Nice run there by Ross. Ross is the fullback right behind uh, Moss. He takes the inside handoff again and struggling forward, making the tackle was number 34, Ben Hendricks. I think that was Jones that time, Marty. Jones on the carry, number 80? Yep. Okay. Well, here North's got a minute 20. They have three timeouts left. The clock is rolling. Clock stops on first down, so don't be afraid to use them. Ross up the middle again. Now they use one. And they get a timeout with the 102 remaining. They're going to spot the ball inside the 35. Nope, outside the 35. We'll call it the 36. I think that was only a gain of about one. Yeah, I think his knee hit Marty. Okay, yeah, it looked like he went a lot further. Third down and six. It's Coach Hine talking to the defense. I would think this is four down territory, down by two scores. Oh yeah, for sure. Minute, so uh, see what North comes out with. North went straight up the gut there both times. Excuse me, the last three plays. Well, they hit South with a quick hitter and I don't think they were ready for it. And uh, they've been ready for the last couple of plays up the middle. Yep, I would say that's correct. Go from 21 yard gain to a three yard gain to a one yard gain. You know, one thing that, uh, you know, you think about last year's South's defense, it was very quick. I mean, it was extremely quick. Now, this year's defense is not as quick as that team, but they're not slow either. No. They, they really go to the ball. Yeah, they do swarm. And uh, they, they, too, are getting better with every, uh, every series. Andrews moves up, 
into the wing back position. Inside handoff to uh, Kautzer, but he's hit and pushed back by Hendricks, and then he gets a little help from Lancer. So not much going there for Kautzer. It's going to be fourth down. Well, North uses another timeout, Marty. They tried the counter play there, and South does a good job of staying home. And I believe you're, that was Brookens there, right? He, I had 32 on the carry. No, I mean Brookens on the stop there. He's a he played last year. So he's, uh, excuse me, Ben Hendricks made the play, 34. Yeah. Ben Hendricks, he played last year, so he stayed home and made that big play there. Forces uh, North into a fourth and long, and 55 seconds remaining. They now have one timeout left. Well, if they can get the first down, you know, it gives them some breathing room. It still gives them the option to run or pass having that timeout left. There you see some of our younger fans. Terry Scherschel up there on the top in the glasses. Mary Dalrymple in the crowd. Said hi to Mary before the game. Long time North High Phi Ed teacher and coach. Moss dropping back, looking, looking. He fires one up for grabs and it's gonna go incomplete. Hard to tell if it was intended for Kautzer or Trilling. Kind of split the two, but it did go incomplete. Well, John Valdez and Ben Hendricks were all over Dave Moss and he just basically threw it up there in the spot where he was supposed to be. Situations like that, you wonder if it's gonna be picked off and going the other way, but uh, fell aimlessly nowhere. Be just interested to see now what South does here, if they're gonna run it or they're gonna try to attack and try to get one more score on the board with the last 50 seconds. They do have timeouts remaining. Wilson in motion, stretch play to uh, Smith. He gets to the outside. Wilson with a bit of a block, and Smith is tripped up at about the 50-yard line, making the stop for North was Justin Weberdink. And they're hurry up on the offense, and again, that was a good, good choice. Now you go. Now you can go. You're at midfield here, and... 14-yard pickup. Gallhart back, quick toss. It's intercepted by North. Hummage. On the return is Hummage. He's got Smith to beat. Can he get to the end zone? Touchdown, Sheboygan North on an interception. Great pickoff and return by Nate Hummage and North climbing back in the ball game. Wow, what a mole play there. And North pretty see much. that one again. That was about a 60-yard return plus, I think. Yeah, and I'll tell you, he was right on it. I saw Nate, I was watching right as it was thrown there, and he was just eyeing up, waiting for the pass to be there. He snuck right in there, and there's the tail end, and I thought Smith was gonna get him there. How much comes from a long line of fast runners? How much family? Timeout North, that'll be their last timeout. 31 seconds remaining. Good all excited out. about uh, scoring that touchdown. They forgot to get the extra point team out there. Well, now you're, they might be debating going for two. Uh, I would kick the extra point. I would say it's 12. I mean, one isn't going to help you much. Yeah, but what are the chances of? Well, two gives you a two-score game at at uh, 10 points. You know, then you get a field goal and a touchdown. Nice. Here we are. Get out from behind the bar. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the trivial question. Getting ready to uh, boot the extra point is uh, Pat Phillips. I don't know about this. Eight makes it a uh, touchdown and a field goal. Yeah, you still got to get two more touchdowns. Ain't going to kick a field goal. Snap is down, the kick is up, and it's good. No flags. And With 31 seconds remaining, it's 18 to seven, and you still won't like that one point extra. Point, oh, wow.
spread the word. There you see it. Big play by Nate Hummich. That uh, got his team fired up. Uh, we didn't get the official yardage on that. It had to be close to 60 because he picked it off right around the 40 or a little yep. bit inside. So I'd give him at least a 60 yard return for a touchdown. Maybe John Shrank has it down there. John doesn't know what he's doing down there. <laughs> Although yeah. John got his picture in the paper. He must be doing something right. <laughs> Well, he's got help down there. Tim Crowns is helping him out. Mr. Benish is down here, the principal. He's just monitoring those guys, making sure they're doing their job. Phillips. Pat's a good kid. Yep, former soccer player. Oh, they wanted to do the onside kick, but it's not going to go the required 10 yards. Wow. Strange. If you remember when we went to that West Bend game, they ran that onside kick to perfection to gain the ball back. Maybe in this situation, a little bit early in the game to do that. Yeah, yes they did, but that one didn't work. No, this one did not work at all. And this gives South good field position and there's still 30 clicks on the clock and two timeouts. 43 yard line and they've uh, run the ball and passed the ball effectively. We got wide receivers left and right. Wilson to the left, Smith the deep back, Gallhart at quarterback, fakes the handoff, he keeps it, he's through the line of scrimmage. One tackler is down for North before Gallhart is finally knocked out of bounds by Andrew Priggy at the 20 yard line. 23 yard pickup. Whoa, Buen Nelly. Here you go. Watch this, one tackler slips down right there and then knocking him out of bounds was number 24, Andrew Priggy. Now Brunig over on this side with a nice block. Mike Reamer over here with a nice block for South. They got a chance to score. Billman in motion. Stretch play fake. No, keeping the ball is Gallhard, and he's tackled near the 20 yard line. A little inside. Mike Granke there. Timeout for South here, Marty. That was a heck of a play because Granke took this, the uh, pitch man, so he was right there take that away and he just threw his arm out there and made a great play otherwise it could have been a big big gainer there still 17 ticks on the clock plenty of time for south to get at least well even if they don't two, get the three first plays. down you know if they can get it down a little closer eisner might uh, get those uh three flubbed extra points back with a field goal So far in the quarter, Gallhart on three carries has 33 yards. That puts North up to uh, 131 yards in the quarter rushing. They've got three out of four passing completions, Gallhart. That's for another 22 yards. So they've uh, moved the ball quite well. There you see co-head coach Chris Hine. Ball spotted right on the 20. Number 99. They haven't gone much to a Lancer. They've got him once tonight. Hand off to Smith. He's through the line of scrimmage. He's got a first down. He's going to the end zone. He's hit and dropped inside the five yard line. Saving tackle made for North by David Thompson. First and goal. Ball spotted on the three yard line. 17 yard pickup. I believe that's South's last timeout. There's 10 seconds remaining. So you have a choice here, you either run it. Well, they better get that field goal team ready and I think what they ought to do is try a pass and then, of course, you're at the three yard line. Well, the thing is if they, they don't get it, <laughs> they're not gonna get anything. Yeah, right. So you either, and I'll tell you what, they've been grinding a lot of yards on the ground. I wouldn't be afraid to run it, but you you run it and you get stuffed, then you don't get in. And I think we're at about what, the two? I think it's a three, Chris, but I'm not sure. You know, if you're gonna run it, Billman sounds like a good play call here. Quick hitter right up the middle, right? Yeah, I, but uh, 
they fall short, they won't score. So that's why the pass is, is the safe play. Yeah, let's call it the two, actually. I think you're right. The pass is the safe play, but the run has, has been the effective play. So it's just a matter to see what, what South does right here. That line's been tough. Wilson in motion. Second back through is Smith, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Well, they're Clock not going to running score. down. Coach wanting him to line up and spike the ball, but it's too late. Well, North almost did a flub, but they were able to hold on. You got that right. I said that was that was the, the safe play was the pass, and the uh, you know the the big play has been the run, and you don't score. I don't know. Interesting half. It's well, fun. It, they made both their big plays on defense. Uh, probably a 60-plus interception return by Nate Hummage for a touchdown, and then the uh, goal line stand. Well, we're at halftime. Score is South 18, North 7. We're going to step out. We'll be back with some halftime entertainment. I remember when it first hit me. Applied energy in a forward direction equals human locomotion. What does this all mean, Doc? Well, it changed life as we know it. I thought, wow, this concept might actually change the way we get from point A to point B. I felt like Einstein inventing the telephone. I give you the human foot. Get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. I could reach the spot. Oh, one down for you. So you can see the truth. And I can change the world. I would be the sunlight. Free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? If you give me a fish, 
you give someone a fish, you feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. Andy came up and said that interception was a, we're not on, was a record for a North South game, 60 plus yards. New North South record category, longest interception return, Nate Hummock, 60 yards. There you go. And uh, it might even been a little longer than that. Now Josh Vernt is a Jefferson kid, so he held the record. Some halftime stats. For uh, South, for the half, they had 205 yards. 169 of those, Chris, came in the second quarter. They uh, had 175 yards rushing and uh, 30 yards passing. And uh, except for the one interception by Tony Gallhart, uh, he was uh, four for seven in the half and uh, was looking pretty good, but that interception got uh, North right back in the ball game. On the flip side, hey, there's my old partner, Jeff Thorne, in the hat. Jeff, a former TV8 announcer, he kind of broke me in. Yep. That's the reason I'm as bad as I am, <laughs> or as good as I am. Nobody really stood out for uh, Sheboygan North and rushing. Uh, Ryan, or pardon me, Peter Ross had uh, 23 yards rushing on two carries, and uh, 22 of those came on one carry, a burst up the middle. Other than that, Nick Jones had 11 yards and three carries. Nate Kautzer had uh, four carries for 13 yards. They only had 49 yards rushing in the first half on 13 carries. And uh, passing, they were three for eight. Dave Moss was, no interceptions for 40 yards for a total at halftime of only 89 yards. So, uh, well, the uh, South defense did an outstanding job, I thought, Marty, bowing just three first downs and uh, really shutting down the North offense. And a uh, couple good, strong drives for South. That's why they lead the game. Had some mishaps on uh, extra points and a couple penalties. But besides from that one turnover, South basically dominated this football game. And they'll start off with the ball to start the third quarter up by 11 points. I don't know, men might stats total for Smith. He had 95 yards. I've got him for in the first half. Kickoff is uh, taken by. Oh, ripped down. Kickoff was returned by Brent Halverson. And a good tackle. I didn't catch a kid's number for North. At number 54, that Justin uh, Weberdink there. Dink with another nice tackle. That's a couple he's made tonight. Brent Halverson, not getting much duty tonight. Uh -uh. Defense is uh, really shut down north. If it hadn't have been for that pass interception, uh, they wouldn't have had any points in the first half. Ball is spotted on the 23 yard line. It's first and 10 south. Up the middle is Smith, he's running hard. He's gonna be stood up and stopped at about the 28 or 29 yard line. Call it the 28. Another gain of five. Smith having a big game. He's over 100 yards now. Or right at 100. Up the middle is Billman. He falls forward for a couple more. I don't think he's got the first down, but he's close. Nope. Well. He was stood up, but you're right, when he fell down, tack on another three yards. Okay, maybe two. Well, he got a bad spot. They're marking it back oh. to the 31-yard line. So that's only a three-yard pickup. Wow, that was a bad mark. Third down and two. It's 
Smith on the handoff up the middle, tries to squirt through. I think he's gonna be short of the first down. North defense standing tall, last two south possessions. It's gonna be fourth down. Anthony Hoytink in the punt. Eric Seafelt back deep for North. Punt is away, it's a good one. Driving Seafelt back to the 26. He's hit, eludes one tackler, and then he's wrestled out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Number 66, TJ Ingles, three year starter for North. Almost got a block there, he was in there. TJ plays on both sides of the line. Interesting. Yep. Full house backfield. Kautzer, Ross, and Andrews. Andrews jumps up into the wing back position. And we got a split end off on the right. First back through is Ross. He picks up a couple of yards. That was the play they busted him for uh, over 20 back in the first half. Well, it was so noted. Snuck away with that one, but uh, since then, not fooling uh, South again. Pickup of two by Ross. Short two, but we'll give it to him. Hendricks is right up there, now backs off. Counter. This direction. Ragoza trying to get to the outside. He picked up a good block from Kautzer. But uh, again, good pursuit by South. Adam Math making the tackle out on the edge. Cesar Ragoza trying to get to the outside. He got it just over the 40. Picks up about three yards. Ran about 15, though. Yeah, he ran a bunch. Moss drops straight back. Oh, he's rushing, he's gonna keep it on a keeper. And he's gonna be wrestled down near first down yardage. I don't think he's got it though. If they give the spot, well, we got a, actually a pretty good view of it from right here. I think he's short. Yeah, me too. Good job by Moss to put it down and run it though. It's gonna be short. He uh, had a heavy rush, Chris. Yep. Not much else he could do. Tucked it under and ran. I like that when that happens. Just inches short. And you know those couple of inches short means he only gets four yards. So he actually got four yards and probably about eight inches. But he's only gonna get credit for a four yard, four yard gain. Well, see what North does. Sneak. Well, they're gonna go for it. They better be right on the ball, South. Moss takes it up the middle. He's got the first down, almost at the 50. Play's been very effective twice today. Short yardage situation, a sneak gets him a couple yards and continue the drive. Just the fourth first down for uh, North. Here you see Andy Lancer. It's hot and humid tonight. I mean, it's Ooh. a beautiful night, but it is humid out there. And I think uh, Saturday and Sunday, we're all gonna see some of that. First and 10 ball on the 49 yard line. North trying to draw closer. They trail with 8.06 remaining, 18 to seven. Moss straight back, looking deep. He's got a receiver out there. Schmidt's trying to make the catch, he can't. Intercepted by Johnson. He's up the sideline before he's hammered out of bounds. But interception south. Jamal Johnson. Well, a little bit underthrown there. Pressure, maybe it was deflected a little bit. He had Trilling going down the sideline, but it was briefly underthrown. Here you're gonna see Moss, a little pressure hit as he threw, underthrew, and uh, great play by number one, Jamal Johnson. First and 10 for South. I think we're gonna get a penalty here. 
Could be an unsportsmanlike on South. Yeah, might, you know who I'm thinking might be on? <laughs> Johnson. Yeah. Well, that's uncalled for. And that's just not a good one. Ball back. Is that inside the 20-yard line? Yes, it is. Ouch. Ball spotted at the 19. Well, they had great field position. It was up near the 45, I believe. And now they're back. Turnover number two on north. Zero on south, Marty. South through that interception for the... Yeah, that's true. Two to one. I'll tell you, I got a bug that keeps flying either inside my glasses, he almost got inside my mouth that time. And to make matters worse, I missed who the ball carrier was. Smith. Good job, Chris. Pickup of about four yards for Smith on that carry. Second down and six. Wilson in motion. Boy, I haven't called his name much tonight. Nope. Smith again, running hard. He's close to first down yardage. Let's see where they spot it. Well, one referee is calling timeout, which would indicate it is a first down, and then the lead official does signal first down. So six yard pickup for Smith, first down south. Going back to work with the line. Ball on the 29 yard line. Billman leading the stretch play, good block by him, but uh, great pursuit by North. They have a bevy of players over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Coming over to stop Smith. Well, Mike, or excuse me, Justin Weberdink was there kind of threw off his blocker there, kind of slowed him down, and then I, I did see Andrew Priggy fly in there, and as you said, just a host of Raiders. Sets up a second and about eight. Inside handoff to Billman, he's through the line of scrimmage, and he drags a tackler forward before he's knocked down outside the 40, first down south. Billman on a quick hitter off the uh, right guard. Ball at the 42, pickup of 11 by Jake. He has 14 yards and two carries. And uh, 72 yards for the game. Second back through is Smith. Bouncing to the outside, gets through Priggy's tackle, but can't get through the tackle of Nate Hummage. But again, a great pickup for South. Down to the 45 yard line of North. Yeah, breaking through a couple North tacklers again. Here you'll see the replay. Smith just on the gain there. 13 yard pickup. Ball spotted right on the 45. 18 to seven, south on top. We're at four, pardon me, 5.30 of the third quarter. South chewing up a lot of clock on this drive. Everything on the ground so far. Smith again, taking it off a right tackle. And uh, a little extracurricular there at the end of the play, but the uh, fact of the matter is, South's offensive line is getting off the ball very well, Chris. Yes, they are. Just moving that defensive line, wearing them down. You know, it sounds like a broken record, but why, why change it? Just keep attacking that situation there. Second and five. Billman, Billman the first back through, right through. He's, oh! Making a saving tackle was Hummich. He got, a, got on his foot and uh, Billman slipped through, but he didn't, couldn't keep his balance and fell down. Otherwise, he might have had a touchdown. But he's got a big gainer. It's first and 10. South ball spotted right on the 30 yard line. That was a 10 yard pickup. No, it's a cliche, Marty, when the low numbers are making the tackles. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing, and Hummond just making way too many tackles. Billman. 
Billman. Homage again. And Billman drags tacklers down inside the 20. Another pickup of more than 10 yards. Yep. Ball is going to be spotted inside the 20. Let's call it the 19. Pickup of 11 yards on that carry. One, two, three, four. Four carries so far in this drive for 10 or more yards. Saul's big offensive line just controlling the line of scrimmage. Billman again on a keeper. Gets it inside the 10, down to about the uh, nine. Close to a first down. Very impressive drive. This started at 7.52, Marty. We're under uh, four minutes now. Second and one. Nine yard pickup. Two tight ends for South. They've been running a tight line on this drive for much of the drive. Smith has the first down. He's hit just outside the five yard line. Only picked up about three or four, but he does have the first down. It's gonna be first and goal for South. Ball spotted, we'll call it the I don't know, seven or eight yard line. Give him the eighth yard line, so a two yard pickup actually for uh, Smith on that last carry. First and goal, ball spotted on the eight. Gallhard under center. Whistled. Looks like we got some motion. And we've talked about them a lot, but we haven't mentioned their names, and that's the offensive line. Uh, Tyler Courtright, number 78, at a guard. Mike Reamer, 76, at a guard. Eric Brunig, a tackle, number 75. John Lindsay, a tackle, 63. And David Valdez, 62, a center. Those guys have uh, just been controlling the line of scrimmage all quarter. And we got Lancer and Noltner at the tight end spots. They've been doing their job too. I'm gonna cut those guys short. Oop, motion by Billman. Boy. Two penalties in a row by South. They're knocking themselves right out of position. Timeout South with 2.53 remaining. South on top, 18 to seven. is a tree that was never chopped down. To make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio. Because vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over two billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio free. Rotary, humanity in motion. Back at South High, there you see South on top, 18 to seven. Now they've just been pushing the ball down the field, but uh, we saw this last week, penalties are hurting them. They had it down inside the 10, now they're back on the 18 yard line. Hate to say this, Marty, I was just thinking how well the offensive line has not been committing holding penalties and really cleaned up their act this week. And then I shouldn't have been thinking it because just as it, it happened, uh, North, does, North doesn't mind you thinking that. Though. Well, I know, but back-to-back uh, <laughs> -back big penalties here. Now they're placed all the way on the 18. They're not on the 13, as the board indicates. But uh, first, first, first down on the 18. Wilson in motion. Lancer is the tight end on the right side. We haven't seen him much. Gallhart trying to keep it. Slips by one, two tacklers. And then he's wrestled down at the 10-yard line. Nate Hummich. Hummich again in there. But missed tackles, missed tackles, missed tackles. Second and goal, and uh, let's see where that uh, gentleman with the yard marker stands, right near the, just outside the 10. So we'll give uh, Gallhart a seven yard pickup and call it second and goal at the 11. Well, and there's an injured North player down. Could be a cramp with this humidity, Marty. Let's hope that all, that's all that it is. Yeah, they're bending that leg back. That's number 52 for North is uh, Alex Hinsey. 
Yeah, I remember Hinzi when he went to uh, grade school over at Lincoln Erdman. I never thought he'd be a linebacker on a football team. <laughs> it's good to see. It was a good kid, kind of quiet. Kind of like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's uh, another fine display of uh, running again. Put yourself in a first down on the 18 yard line and one carry and cut off seven yards of that deficit. Our next game is gonna be uh, at Sheboygan North next Friday. Manitowoc comes to town. That'll be a big game. Ships one of the favorites. I believe your pick for the crown this year, Marty. I think so, yeah. I think I picked Duisburg too. They're on two this year. Oops. Nice. I saw that. Quick out to Wilson making his first catch tonight. It eludes one tackler and he's hit out of bounds inside the 10. I thought he stepped, yeah, I thought he got out near the five. They're gonna give wow. him a seven. Only a four yard pickup. Wow. Good piece of running though. I remember last year that Fond du Lac game, I got so upset with all the marking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you were beside yourself. Yeah, I was really <laughs> bothered by that. And of course it was Fond du Lac. Exactly. <laughs> Big third down here. Third down ball on about the seven or eight yard line. Fake the Billman, pitch out to Smith on the short side, eludes one tackler, he's gonna be roped down at the five yard line. Short gain. Decision time for uh, Coach Pfeiffer. You know, they said that on uh, TV last night, this is the uh, plays where the coaches make all, all the big decisions. You know, you got your offensive coordinator, your defensive coordinator, you got all this stuff, but the big plays are these big fourth down calls. These are the coaches' decisions, and on fourth and five, and with that strong defense, they're gonna give it a shot. I wonder if they set up the stretch play to the left because they ran the ball to the right, and uh, Gallhart on a little quarterback option kind of play. Yeah, let's uh, Nope, fake. Drills the pass to the corner of the end zone, but his receiver fell down, making the cut. That was Wilson. So Nick Wilson was the intended receiver, but pass goes incomplete, and North stops him. Yeah, six minute and 40 second drive, which started, where did it start, Marty? Like the 20, right? 14 plays started at the 19, actually, okay. when he had a, that penalty on the huge interception return. But uh, North takes over. There's just a minute and 12 seconds remaining. It's first and 10, ball spotted at the five yard line, 95 yards away from pay dirt. Here's right. where you'd want bullet Bob Hayes on the long one. Well, you got uh, strong south defense too. That's another reason why Coach Pfeiffer side goal with, with that decision there. And you know, the North deep. running back Ross is gobbled up by the defense. Big number 51 in on the tackle. Mike Brookins. Yeah. That South defense is yet to give up a score. I was going to mention this, Chris, in that second quarter, South ran off 24 plays to North 10. And there's a huge disparity here in the second, in the third quarter. And, you know, I got this color coded, and all we see is red. Yeah, it's just the fourth, excuse me, the second op opportunity for North with the ball here in the quarter, and we're almost done. Moss hits his receiver. Schmitz. Schmitz on the catch and he's uh, hit down. Moss to uh, Schmitz for the catch. Short of the first down by about a yard. So make it an eight yard pickup. Clock is running down. There's only five seconds remaining in the quarter. I don't think North is going to get this play off in time. And yes, that is the quarter. With three quarters in the book, Sheboygan South leads it 18 to 7. Today, I want to talk to you about a very important subject and cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, because Emmy can't talk. The fact is, animals are abused all over this country and people sit by and do nothing. It's not slick or fly or cool or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do now to make a difference. She can't do it for herself.
there's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Back at South High School, we're getting ready to uh, start fourth quarter action. Some more trivia for you. Who, is, who has the longest kickoff return in the series? I th it is Rich Athen. I think I saw that on, the, uh, on, on uh, the website that Andy has. We'll find out if my memory is good. Here we go. It's uh, third down and one. Oh, and jumping offside is a north. Left guard, unfortunate for that young man. You are right, Marty. Now well, it's gonna be third and six. You know, the other thing about when you push it oh, back boy. inside Time the out. 10 yard line, timeout north, makes it a dangerous proposition to try and throw a pass. Yep because they had turnover and they pretty close to the end zone down there and thought that was a good place for that sneak there, but. Uh, penalties have hurt south and penalties now hurt north, so it's kind of even on the times when you don't need the penalties to occur. Yeah, exactly. I mean, south was on that last drive, driving all the way down the field and Two bad, bad motion penalties pushed them back and forced the situation they had first and long. Interesting play call here. That's a very interesting situation. Last time both North and South had winning records was 1964. That's a long time. Really? We came pretty close in 67, uh, my senior year. I think North, we finished, I think it was six and one or seven and one. South was like three and four. Just missed it. Here we go. Third down and about seven. Moss rolling, stopping. He's heavily rushed. He got the pass away. I think they're going to call it. Yes, they are. An incomplete pass. What do we say, Marty? They don't pitch much, but wouldn't they do? Yep, they picked the spot right there. And that's just... Makes them so tough. Great call by Coach Hine, and South should have great field position pending this punt. There's a blast, what a punt. Ball rolls dead at about the 41 yard line. A great punt by uh, Sheboygan North. Actually gonna spot it at the 44. What? <laughs> Must have bounced out of bounds, Chris. Because those markers aren't right on the yard line. You know, they're about five or six yards off. Oh, no, they're coming down here. I was going to say it didn't hit anywhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. 44 yard line. Who was that North punter? I think Josh check. Gilson. Gilson. Gilly, good punt, buddy. It's again a quick, quick. Three short. wide receivers off to the right side. Just saying a short uh, offensive series for North once again. Inside handoff. I think there was a fumble. Who's got it? Oh boy. Well, I think he wanted to give it to Billman, then he changed his mind and pulled it out. North got it. Turnovers are even. What a break for North. Oh, they're gonna get great field position too. One and done for North, or pardon me, for South here. It's gonna be a, I'm gonna give a, they carry to Billman, and he's going to get a no-gainer on that, and he's going to fumble and lose it. Ball is spotted on the 44-yard line. North with a great opportunity to pull close here in the fourth quarter. Schmitz wide to the right. Sweep by Andrews. Penalty flag getting thrown in the middle, but Andrews makes a nice run down to the 35. Now let's see where the penalty, what the penalty is. It looks like it's gonna be holding. It's gonna be holding. 
When that flag goes right in the middle of the uh, offensive and defensive line, it's uh, generally a holding penalty. And they are calling south over. It's a bad time to get penalties, boys. You're down yep. by uh, 11 points. You need to get something positive going. That's a Misdirection play. Kautzer has it. He gets banged down. Good hitting out there. Number 21, Jake Sure. We haven't called his number much tonight, but uh, I know he's out there playing hard. A couple of yards for Kautzer. Get it up to about the 48. Second down and 18. Dave Moss under center. Where he goes to the deep back, he takes the pitch, trying to get through, he got a nice block, he's out on the outside, he's got room to roam. Getting close to the first down, he's knocked down at the 35 yard line. Brian Andrews hanging right in there on the play. Coming right at him. Oh, we Cesar see. Regoza, good speed. Yeah, we've seen a couple good runs from him and it's gonna set up a third at about two. Nice run there, good open field tackle here. Watch number 21 fly in here, Jake Sure, He had a big game last week. 12 yard pickup. It's gonna be second down and three. Third and three, Marty. Third and three, pardon me. It's a pickup of 15 yards on the play. Inside handoff, Andrews cutting around the corner, he's roped down, it's gonna be close to a first down. Well, a lot of misdirection and stuff going on there, and once again, South stays home, the clock is rolling. First down and 10, ball spotted on the 32 yard line. North Andrews down. with the first down run. North still needs two touchdowns, Marty. Boy, yeah, I wonder they, if they should have gone for two before. <laughs> <laughs> they would have need two touchdowns anyways. Moss uh, on a keeper and he gets roped down for a loss at the 35 yard line. Be a loss of three. Well, we've been calling number two on the north side, Nate Hummage. And we've been calling a lot of 22 on the south side. Big John Valdez. Yeah, Big John been making a lot of plays. Him and uh, Ben Hendricks and Mike Brookins. Where he goes out through the hole quickly, but nice tackle made out there by Ben Hendricks. You got that right, nice solid tackle. Boy, when he picked up speed there, you know, he could have easily escaped there, but a nice job of open field tackle by South. It's gonna be third, third down and nine. Regoza in motion, Moss dropping back, flips a nice pass to Regoza, he makes the catch and he's knocked down inside the 20 yard line. Cesar Regoza. Right out of the flat there. Nice kick out block by number 53 on the back end there. Big Pete Reschke, give Moss some more time. Watch 53, right there, that extra little second there, freed that Moss up to make that pass. Kept this drive alive. We're uh, under about 740 though. 11 yard pickup, first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Kautzer, the wing back spot on the right. Fake and a fake, little flip pass over to Jones and he can't make the catch. Well, well run play, Chris. You know, they did the double fake on the inside. They had the defense flowing, but uh, Jones not able to make the catch. Yeah, and he had a blocker out there. Pete Reschke there. 
Boy, those are, those are the ones as a coach. Boy, you draw it all up and it looks so great. And then <laughs> one little goof up and there um, you are. Yeah, it's just an incomplete pass. It just, you know, you don't mind if a dive or something like that doesn't always work here or there. But when you got those nice little yeah, and you got those misdirection guys flow and plays. And they're wide open. I mean, it's not like somebody's pressuring you when you make the catch. Mm -hmm. Schmidt split out. Those are the ones you lose sleep with at night. Moss, two fakes, heavily pressed. They wanted to throw the screen. And the catch is made by Coulter. He was open, he gets through, and he's in for a first down. And then a flag comes in late. Oh boy. Anthony this be, Hoytink. This could be big on North if they have a penalty here. Because this could be first down, goal to goal. Instead, they're gonna get a big holding call downfield. Here you're gonna see the play. Maybe we can pick up the holding. Wow. He's heavily rushed, but uh, makes it Moss made a great play and a good throw. Yep, there you see it right at the end. It was uh, Schmitty knocking down Adam Math. That's just a killer. That's just a killer penalty. Ball is moved back to the uh, 16 or 17 yard line, I believe it is. Looked like a push in the back more, Marty, too. Ouch. That goes to the three yard completion, Chris. It's going to be third down and about seven. No, nope. second because of the penalty. Uh, second down, pardon me. Moss straight back. He's got room. Pass over the middle to Ben Trilling goes incomplete. You have Patrick Phillips, your uh, field goal kicker, and he is pretty good. I was watching him in warm-ups, and he was easily hitting 35 yards. So they can, they don't make it here. They can draw hit. within eight and then a touchdown and a two-point conversion. But if they had missed the two-pointer, then they would still be out of luck. This way you draw within that field goal try. See, Chris, see how that works? I don't know. <laughs> You're just talking yourself out of your own <laughs> argument, man. <laughs> we got a timeout on the field. Let's take a timeout so Chris and I can wrestle over the two-point conversion. Rechargeable batteries let us go anywhere and do anything. But the freedom to go unplugged comes with responsibility. Look at that. Wow responsibility to recycle. If you've got old rechargeable batteries hanging around, take them in to be recycled. It's easy and it's good for the environment. Check us out online or give us a call at 1-800-8-BATTERY to learn more. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine North lined up there. You see it, 6.49 remaining. It's third down and seven. Regoza steps up in the wing spot. Now he comes back in motion. Handoff pitch out to Regoza. He's trying to look for a block. He does get one. Kautzer made the block, and Regoza's in for the touchdown. Nate Kautzer, a nice kick out block on Adam Math. Now it's an interesting situation. Here we go for two here, Marty, now. I don't think so. I think so. Yeah, you're right, because then you get the touch on, you get the lead. Yep. There's the flip out. And you're going to see a block. Good job by Kautzer. Nice block. Wow. And Regoza making a good cutback, reading the block just fine. 17-yard touchdown run by Cesar Regoza. And what a play by, by uh, Regoza. He's had some big, big, big and, drives. Uh, like Chris wants, they're going for two. Kautzer steps up in the wingback spot. Inside handoff to Ross. He battles down near the goal line, but I think he's going to be short. They're signaling that he is, so the extra point, two-point conversion is no good. With 6.42 remaining, South on top, 18-13. to Six minutes and six seconds on that drive, Marty. That was a good one. 
10 plays. I see some more uh, interesting information. That's over the history of the last 68 you know, years. Andy said we were supposed to have a blowout win tonight. You're wrong, Andy. Well, he said that there would be more than a touchdown. That's uh, well, he should win by more than a touchdown is the trend. If statistical average holds true, but it's north south. Throw them all out. <laughs> exactly. We saw that last year. Brent so. Halverson is back deep to receive this kickoff. We got the probably the safe hands team maybe in. Yeah, Hendricks, Wilson are two of the numbers that I can see on the front line. I think you got to kick it deep and hope you stop south. Also back deep. Well, I can't quite catch that number. Phillips kick is deep, and it could go out of bounds, and it does. That's a penalty on North. Ray Smith was the other uh, deep return man. Nice kick, but uh, you kick it out of bounds. Doesn't help. And another penalty on North. Yeah. Now I thought that uh, on kickoffs you don't re-kick, but uh, when we were at that North game, I think it was the West Bend game again. I think you have an option. Okay. Penalty on North. South will get it first and 10 on the 35. That's pretty good field position. Yep. And the way they've been running the ball, uh, North is going to have to uh, prevent them from running the clock down. Wilson and Duquette are the wide outs, left and right. Smith is the deep back. Billman the up back. Hand off to Smith inside. He slips through and he's bang down outside the 40. Pickup of about five or six yards. Or did he do the banging? <laughs> I don't know. There was a lot of hitting going on out there. You get a good shot of Ray Smith. Give Smith a six yard pickup on that play. First down and four. Billman the up back. Good decisions here by Gullhart. Taking as much time off the clock. Smith again up the middle. He's got the first down. Outside the 45 to the 46. Ray Smith with another nice gain. That one goes for five yards. First and 10 south. Smith has really gotten his sea legs in this uh, from the second quarter on. Lines are set. Gullhart to uh, Billman right through the middle, and he picks up 10 plus yards. First down. South doing a very good job. South coaching staff. Coach Buckham's got a stopwatch, and uh, he can uh, basically tell him when to uh, snap the football. Well, they're only giving him nine yards on that carry. Calling them just short. That's even, that helps South. Yeah, That's, you're right, you're right. Now if they get a first down and short yardage and uh, they get another uh, set of downs to uh, do it. So this is actually a positive thing for South. Billman the first back through and he's got the first down but he's uh, driven back hard by Justin Weberdink, number 54. Justin's having some fun out there tonight. Yep. Two minutes off the clock has been run off by South, doing an outstanding job. And again, they can now just wait. Good job of the coaching staff to have the thought process to have a stopwatch on the sidelines. Callhart barking out the signals. Smith on the handoff, right through the middle. He's got a burst and yardage before he's finally pushed back. But Take, again, a big chunk of yardage, four or five yards. Yep, take another five. And take another uh, 25 seconds off the clock. Ball spotted on the uh, 38. Pick up a five. Oh, we have a new cameraman. 
Yeah, Andy in the truck doing the stats. Number 86 is Mike Granke. That's, uh, he's a former Kohler football player. Smith trying to get to the outside, but he's uh, wrestled down hard. Making the stop for Sheboygan North was uh, Derek DeZuba. Zuby. Well, this is a big play. <laughs> yeah, only two yards by uh, Smith. North uh, battening down the hatches now. You can get a first down here. You can really force North to start calling some timeouts on the defensive end. Ball spotted on about the 36. It's third and three. Second back through is Smith. He bursts through and he's got the first down. Ouch. And yeah, North blocker getting pushed back, or pardon me, a South blocker Ouch. getting pushed back by a North defender. I never like to see that. David Valdez there. Just glad he got up. Ball spotted on the 31 yard line, I believe it is. Pick up a five yards by Smith. Simple situation of that line, just pounding the ball. Smith again, he's wrestled down. Stop right at the line of scrimmage, maybe picked up a yard. North still not taking any of their timeouts. We're down to 2.20. That was a 27th carry by uh, Smith in the game. That one going for one yard makes it second down and nine. I would think North's gonna call timeout after this play. Clock rolling down 205, 204, 203. We're under two minutes. Smith again, bursting through the middle. He's wrestled down. Hard making the tackle that time was Zuba again. Timeout signaled by North. That's their first timeout. 145 remaining. South trying to run the clock down. You know, last year, Chris, it wasn't unusual to see this. South gets the lead, need to have good clock management, and they just exactly. punk, got that elephant backfield back there. Yeah. Now they don't have that this year, at least they haven't shown it yet. But uh, Billman's a load when he wants to throw a block. Yeah, and I was just thinking before, too, and now we have some time here. You can just, like last year, South had success, and, you know, Sheboygan North has a brand new system and new coaches, and it takes a little bit while for the players to get adjusted. Sheboygan South, they've been in the system now for a while. They can do more advanced things. You know, they can run a two-minute offense. You know, they can be, you know, run the clock management things, things that... Uh, you do once you have a little more success and we're with the program for a while. We mentioned it before, there you see it on your uh, screen. Manitowoc invades North next week. That'll be a big game for both clubs. North, of course, uh, wants to get a win under their belt against a quality opponent like they're gonna try and do tonight. Can, uh, and like we said, Manitowoc is picked uh, as one of the top teams in the Valley. Yeah, they, they lost, I believe, 20 to 14 to a very good Homestead program last week. Third down and maybe four. Smith, the second back through, leaps the pile and leans forward. He's gonna be close to a first down. It's gonna be short. That's a first down. It's gonna be short. <laughs> you can maybe hear the coaches in the background yelling, that's a first down. It's gonna be uh, fourth down and about a yard, Marty. Well, well, well you might as well go for it. I guess you could say this is the ball game unless there's some kind of turnover. South gets it here and uh, very, very difficult for uh, the Raiders to do anything since they're going to be down to one timeout left. There's a timeout on the field. There's been some discussion on the field. Mr. Ristow said North. Mr. Yep. Crown says South. South has two timeouts, I believe, and North has one. Well, don't look on the board because they're arguing down there. <laughs> it's actually more important for uh, 
North to have the timeouts remaining in this case. Doesn't mean anything if you don't stop the Red Wings right here. So here we go, it's the big line. It's been tough all night against Sheboygan North who got their big stop on the goal line on the other end. Big fourth down play, it's fourth down, a little more, a little less than one. Oh, and Smith is hit behind the line of scrimmage and driven back and North has a shot at it. When they've needed it, they've been able to do it. They did it at the end of the first half and here they do it in the fourth quarter. There's 128 remaining. Smith actually loses a yard on that play. And it's first and 10, Sheboygan North at about the 22 or 23 yard line. Oh, we got a barn burner going here, Chris. Well, gave yourself a chance, and that's what the defense did there. You have one timeout in your pocket. Remember, the clock does stop on all first downs and incompletions. We're going to give Smith a no-gainer on that, but it puts Salt North in a position where they got to play without their comfort zone of running the ball. Salt dropping their linebackers off this time, but they still get a good rush. Moss. Directing traffic, now he pulls it down, throws it in late, and it's tipped away by Johnson. Great effort by Dave Moss and directing traffic and trying to buy time, but uh, good defensive play by South, tipping that pass away. Well, that was nine seconds of excitement. <laughs> A lot of pressure by South there. Great job by Moss to elude the tackles there. I think it was... Uh, Brookins or Bannock. Bannock was the guy providing the pressure. Johnson with a big tip away again. Coats are in motion. Moss heavily pressured trying to get the ball to Trilling, but he was surrounded by three South defenders, Wilson, Hoytink, and Johnson, and the pass goes incomplete. And again, under heavy pressure. Send in the house. They are, well, they drop linebackers the, the play before. What they're doing is getting some of those down linemen through. Yeah, and Hendricks was in there that time. Lancer stepping in. He's a good athlete. And here's exactly a good place to put him, too. He hasn't had to play all the time. Yeah, it's well rested. Well rested. Now, when you need him, here's your, here's your money guy. I think we're going to stop. Whistle on the field. Wow. Might well, well be sure. Yeah, they didn't signal who the timeout was on. Well, North has one left. North still has a timeout left. That I know. Well, South, South. I think I think they each have a timeout left. The board says zero. Zeros and zeros. In either case, uh, North has a long way to go. They're uh, 78, 77 yards away from pay dirt, but uh, you got to be impressed with uh, Dave Moss. Maybe yeah. Fine time. He's under heavy pressure, yet oh. he's uh, been able to make some uh, quality throws. He got clocked pretty good there. Yeah. You really leave yourself exposed. There you get a look at the uh, north side not a lot of bleachers over there because of the construction going on but uh, as you look along the fence people are uh, all the way around at least heading to the uh, south side as we move to the south there you see old Vic it's a tamer old Vic <laughs> and he used to be and and south side looks a little worried yeah they're a little worried all you do is have one guy break one yeah, but Ray Goza has got that breakaway speed. He's not, I don't know if he's in the ball game right now. I look to my right and say the scoreboard still says we're ahead. I think that is Ray Goza is in the uh, wingback spot right now. Moss straight back, faking, faking, throwing his pass, and it's knocked away by Adam Math. Intended for Nick Jones. Chris, I don't like that play. I don't either. You're not going to buy time by faking the dive play in the line. Well, I think because they got so much pressure, they thought they'd get south to over-pursue, but Adam Mass did the correct thing, went with the flow this way, and he was right there to break it up. The blockers were out here for North, but I'd rather see it thrown down the field a little bit, and we're down to a big fourth down play. 109 remaining, although the t clock doesn't matter as much as the down and distance. They need 10 yards and a first down. Then they can worry about the clock again. Weber playing deep, Johnson playing deep. Let's check those linebackers, are they coming? Hendricks looks like he's creeping up. He's coming. Moss straight back, throws one deep to Trilling, he can't make the catch. Adam Math on them. Good effort by uh, Trilling, but the pass knocked away. 
That gives South possession with 103 remaining and without North having any timeouts. That should be the ball game pending a turnover. And we've had some of those. Sheboygan South will have it. First and 10. Tight formation, way back is uh, Smith. Tony Gallhart take a knee and does, and then he backs away. Clock running, 55 seconds remaining. Chris Wright going downstairs to uh, hopefully get some interviews. That for Gallhart was his first uh, carry of the fourth quarter, he'll get a couple more. There it is again, and that should do it. Two touchdown, pardon me, two kneel downs by Gallhart. Clock down to uh, 15 seconds and counting. Red Wings are gonna win their third north-south game in a row, 18 to 13, in uh, what was an extremely entertaining ball game. And that's it, clock has run out, South wins it. That's actually their fourth win in the row, pardon me. Fourth win in the row for the South side, and they knocked the all-time series up at 33, 33 and three in what was an uh, extremely entertaining ball game. Gotta give uh, the North High team a lot of credit. They came through when they needed to at that uh, goal line stand to end the half and uh, here in the fourth quarter to get the possession back, but uh, South defense a little too tough, not allowing them to uh, move the ball down the field. We're gonna step out. Hopefully when we come back, we'll have some final stats. Chris, of course, will have some uh, interviews and uh, we'll wrap this puppy up, so stay tuned. Charlie Marley. There's nothing better than great fans who cheer me on in the 40 car. While watching the race, many of our fans like to enjoy a cold beer. And that's okay if you're 21, but if you choose to drink, please do so responsibly. Avoid drinking the excess and never drive drunk. Traffic deaths involving alcohol have fallen on dramatically in the last 20 years. So let's all do a part by drinking responsibly. This message is brought to you by the National Beer Wholesalers Association and this station. trip or visit TravelWisconsin.com. We're back here with two uh, happy uh, Red Wings here, uh, Adam Math, Jake Billman. Uh, Adam, I thought your team really on defense stepped up big time, especially in the trenches, really shut down the running game for North. Yeah, we just did what we were coached to do. We practiced on it all week and we accomplished it today. I think you you hit it right on the head there, Adam. That's what I said too. You guys really follow assignments very well. I mean, you're very well coached and you guys obviously listen to what you're supposed to do and you guys really do that kind of stuff. Yeah, we take a lot of time every week to do that stuff and well, we proved that we'd do it good today. Yeah, I know even on that last swing pass over here too, the uh, on the screen pass there, you know, you were home to, to, to knock that away amongst all those big timber guys, those big taller guys in there. Yeah, we'd practice that again this week and I just tried to make a play. He was taller than me, but I just jumped up and made a play. Yeah. Last play too, you made a big nice play down here on some guy you play a little ball with, Ben Trilling. You guys won't talk about it in the dugout next summer, will you? No, probably not. <laughs> it just felt like the ball was in the air so long and then I tipped it up. <laughs> yeah, I definitely did that and uh, Boy, your defense, I know I mentioned last week, but every week you guys seem to get better and better. Yeah, we have. We've improved a lot since the first week, and we've improved since last week, too. I think that's true, and good luck next week on the road. You guys got 11 conference wins in a row. Keep it, keep it up. Jake, I kind of call you the glue of the team. You're kind of the senior leadership guy out there. Uh, 
little more responsibility for you and, and John? Oh, definitely. It's a lot of responsibility with being the captains and leaders on offense, the only returning starters this year, but it's a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Both you and Smith had over 100 yards, and kind of I mentioned with Adam, too, I thought, you know, at the line of scrimmage, the, the guys did the job for you, and there was some holes in there, and you obviously took advantage of that. Oh, well, definitely. We had some big boys playing in there, and they work hard every week, and when they open up holes like that, it makes it a lot easier to run the ball. Yeah, as I said, you seem to always get the big blocks, and you catch the passes out of the backfield all the time, kind of like the, the safety valve, and uh, big leader this year, uh, taking a, you know, you were there last year where it's like, so it must be nice to kind of be a leader and show these these juniors what, what it's all about. Oh, definitely. It's a lot of fun being the leader this year and being able to teach younger guys everything that, like Eric Donoval and Will Hartman taught me. Yeah, big win today. Uh, a lot of games ahead of you on the schedule. Got to go on the road next week and keep this, this little winning streak going. Yeah, next week we play Notre Dame. They're a very good football team, so we got to continue to work hard every week, especially this week. Yeah, you do that, go back to practice. And again, congratulations, gentlemen. Big victory against the north side. A good barn burning just the way we like it, but uh, they're happy on the south side. We'll send this one back to Marty. Good job on the interviews, Chris. Uh, great job by those two young men, Nate, Jake Billman, and uh, Adam Math. Let's go over some statistics real quickly. Uh, south really owned the second half on the ground. For the game, they had 309 yards rushing. 166 on 31 carries by Ray Smith, 102 yards on 16 carries by uh, Jake Billman, and Tony Galhard chipped in with 43 on seven carries. Uh, Galhard also was five for nine passing for uh, 34 yards for a total of uh, 343 yards for the game. I'll tell you one thing South did do, and that was uh, went away from any kind of a passing game. They threw seven in the first half, only two in the second half, and both of those came in the third quarter. North, on the other hand, had a real tough time getting their offense going. We had a 61-yard interception return by uh, Nate Hummage that got the scoring going after South had scored three straight times. Smith had a five-yard run, Billman a 10-yard run, Galhart had the uh, touchdown pass to uh, Nolt Nol Noltner for uh, 14 yards, there you get a good shot at Chris Hine. He's got to be happy with his team. Uh, North, on the other hand, had 87 yards rushing, 62 passing for a total of only 149. Dave Moss, uh, great efforts on a lot of his uh, attempts. He was uh, rushed heavily by the South defense, was only six of 18 for that 62 yards. Their rushing leader was uh, Cesar Regoza, who had uh, seven carries for 39 yards. He also had that uh, fourth quarter 17-yard touchdown run to uh, cap the scoring. Final was Sheboygan South 18, North 13, in what was an extremely entertaining uh, North-South football game. For the crew and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying stay tuned. We'll be with you uh, next week when uh, Manitowoc invades Sheboygan North. But that's our broadcast for tonight. Again, South winning it 18 to 13. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.